Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to cook my vegetarian chickpea stew. This recipe is very easy because I cooked it in a mini crock pot. So the other day I went to Walmart, I saw this crock pot. They're not on sale though, I wish that they were on sale but it's still a good deal for 10 bucks and you get two quart uh, of the size. The first menu that I wanted to try was my chickpea stew. So I previously cooked my chickpeas and put them in bags like this in the freezer. I uh, brought out one bag and break the chickpeas apart a little bit and here's are the seasonings that I'm going to use for this menu. Sea salt, garlic powder, minced onions, cumin powder, cilantro, ginger, you can use fresh ginger too, whole tahini, unsweetened soy milk, plain Greek yogurt, and avocado oil. First, after you clean your crock pot, you put in your chickpeas and all the seasonings it doesn't have to be in order you can put anything in there and i decided to use about one teaspoon of everything except the chickpeas of course but if you like your seasonings uh, to be more you want it to be more flavorful just add more seasonings it doesn't matter for the whole tahini uh, they're just ground sesame seeds and I just wanted to add proteins into my stew. So I added Greek yogurt they have in the fridge. Um, I, have, I had about half a top left. So I use it all so I can just have room in my refrigerator. If you don't want to use any Greek yogurt or yogurt into your stew, that's okay too. Because it's very easy to cook in a crock pot like this. You put all the ingredients in and the seasonings that you want and let it cook you come back and then you get your meal uh, to add more protein i add my soy milk and a little bit of avocado oil again if you don't want to use avocado oil you can use olive oil uh, i used about one tablespoon or you can use more or less it's up to you give it a quick stir and I decided to put a little bit of water to make it easier to stir. You don't have to do that too. It's up to you. So once it looked a little creamy, I forgot that I had one more ingredient that I have to put to it. And that is masala. If you don't have it, again, don't have to put it in. But I do because I like the smell or the flavor of masala in my stew. And there you go, you know, now cover it, cook it on high for five or six hours. And then you, you just walk away. I don't want to forget, so I put a note next to it and then I set a timer on my cell phone. So I know when it cooked and then I can just walk back to my small crock pot and open the lid. And just so you know, while you're using this crock pot, do not open the lid, just let the crock pot do what it's supposed to do. Five hours later, I come back and check on it. It's really hot. Just be careful. Open the lid and this is what my stew look like. I turn uh, the temperature from high to warm and then I give it a quick stir and this is what it look like. It's really flavorful, you know, and it smells really good when I open the lid. You can eat this stew with rice or you can top it off with anything but today I decided to top it off with avocado. You can put sour cream, uh, more yogurt to it or any pickles you know if you want to eat it that way. Just anything that you, you have in your refrigerator. And tonight I am eating it with uh, a flat bread called naan. Uh, for Thai people if you don't know what it is you can just eat it with rice because you know not everyone want to eat something like this but give it a try and i have some leftover i put them into the meal prep boxes 
and uh, put everything in the refrigerator. So when I want to eat it again, yeah, I just uh, you know pop it in a microwave and eat it with avocado, and that's it. พี่น้องวันนี้เฮาซ่อนมาเฮาก็มีแค่ทั่วลูกไก่ต้มแล้วแล้วก็เครื่องปรุงตามวิดีโอวิธีเฮ็ดก็คือเอามาใส่หม้